Okay, my name is uh, Liu, Liu Li. Uh, I'm uh, the uh, Vice President of uh, Tencent Cloud Europe. Uh, today I feel uh, very honored to be here to give uh, uh, this uh, presentation. Mm. So uh, today my topic is uh, uh, cloud as a new driving force. So I would like to introduce some uh, new trend in China and uh, uh, some perspective from a Chinese company uh, for the automotive industry. So before we go into the uh, main part, I would like to give a very brief introduction about Tencent. Uh, so Tencent is a is quite a low key company. Maybe no no many uh, be, uh, no many people know about Tencent. Uh, so Tencent is a uh, is a, uh, according the, the the market value is uh, uh, the top ten uh, company in the world globally, and uh, it's a uh, the the top one internet company in China. And Tencent was established in 1998. Uh, this year is uh, 24, years, 24 years old. Uh, and headquarters is uh, in Shenzhen, China. Uh, so this is the briefly Tencent background. And uh, all Tencent business can be divided uh, uh, six part. The first part is uh, social, uh, social communication, communication social. So Tencent has two super uh, applications. One is WeChat, another one is QQ. These are two applications together. Uh, monthly active user is around 1.8 billion. Uh, the second part is a uh, game. Tencent is the uh, number one gaming company in the world uh, by the revenue. Mm. And uh, third, third is uh, digital content. So uh, it's, uh, the, uh, we provide uh, long-form video like uh, Netflix and also uh, music like uh, uh, Spotify. So Tencent is uh, number one in China in, in terms of digital content. And the first part is the FinTech. So Tencent is the, the number one uh, mobile payment uh, service in China, so like uh, uh, PayPal. Mm. And the fifth uh, part is uh, cloud, cloud business. So we are the, the number two in China and the number five uh, globally. So, uh, so maybe uh, also no many people know about Tencent can provide a cloud, cloud business. Uh, the last part is the utility. It's like uh, Google uh, Chrome. So we also provide this uh, browser and also mobile security. So this is the roughly uh, Tencent's uh, service. Uh. And uh, so, uh, so Tencent, Tencent's business can be divided into two parts. One is a two B, B2B business. Another one is a B2C business. Uh, so when I'm uh, meeting customers, partners, the most uh, questions uh, I have been asked always to, to so Tencent, you have so many uh, business. Like you, like, you can provide like uh, uh, Facebook plus uh, uh, WhatsApp, plus Netflix, plus Pay PayPal, uh, plus uh, Nintendo, also plus uh, everything. So what is, <laughs> what is your, your, your unique value to, to partner, to customers? So actually, uh, I think the unique value we can provide is uh, you know, we can provide the B to B to C capability, which means you know, uh, from my side, uh, I'm from cloud business. When, when we provide the solutions for cloud infrastructure, uh, we not only can provide this kind of solution, but also we can help customers and users, uh, 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 our customers to touch their end users because we can cover around 2 billion end users globally. So which means we are not only can help our B2B uh, customers to enhance their uh, bottom line, their profit, but also we can help them to enhance their uh, top line revenue. So this is, a, uh, I think this is our unique value. Uh, so this is a brief introduction about Tencent. Okay, the main part. Uh, so we have four, four, uh, four, four parts uh, related to this uh, topic uh, today. Uh, the first is uh, I, I would give some uh, uh, perspective or new trend, uh, 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 some uh, program, uh, progressive development in China, we observe. Second, 
according this uh, this kind of development, we can also can can uh, can see some uh, uh, new trends in automotive industries. Uh, we observe. The third, uh, we can see you know facing this uh, problem and the trends. Uh, what 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 we offer according based on cloud uh, capabilities. The last part is uh, conclusions. So. Uh, yes, you know, as a, uh, as Tencent, Tencent, yes, uh, uh, we're coming from to C business. So maybe our audience would like to ask. So, what specific solutions you can provide to relate to this uh, automotive industry? So, in that part, I will uh, give the uh, the overview of what we can offer. Uh, and uh, before the, uh, going to uh, main part, I think there's a very common uh, difference. We, we observed uh, for the next generation car for Chinese market and uh, we so call it the European or Germany market. So from from uh, from China, from the you know, the other driver passenger of of China, they consider the next generation car is like a digital digitalization scenario extension. Like you know maybe the first scenario is uh, like uh, your home, second is office, third maybe some outside like a stop, uh, like a Starbucks, but they consider in cars is another digitalization, digital world, digital uh, uh, lifestyle. So the, I think this is uh, quite different with uh, with uh, with maybe European car makers. Uh, for example, maybe uh, European car makers think, oh, next generation car is uh, just upgrade from combustion engine to electric engine. Uh, or then upgrade to digital uh, uh, new world. But, but uh, you know, from China perspective, they're going to another direction. So you can see all the new uh, players, main players, is like, uh, just like internet background, IT background, like a new Xiaopeng, Li Xiang, and other new, uh, new car makers. Then totally, there's no any background from a traditional car uh, background. So I think this is a common difference from China and the European. Okay, we are going to, to, to the, the first part. The first part we can see, you know, because China is a, is a very big uh, market, 1.3, 1 1.4 billion uh, populations. So you can see, if you want to operate uh, a service in China, so you, you, you need to build up a very strong and a very uh, massive a big, a massive scale IT system. So this is an example for DD. You know, uh, for, for China, uh, for, for DD, uh, for example, every, every day, uh, the users around 2.22 uh, 22 million, more than 22 million. And uh, every 10 seconds, there's a, there's a, there, there's a, a, a matching uh, uh, deals. So you can see from maybe uh, eight, one, 1 a.m., to 8 a.m., their traffic grow very fast, maybe 100 times. So which means uh, if the European company want to operate your business in China, you need to really to think about that, build a very strong IT system. Mm. The second, uh, you also can see in e-commerce, let's say uh, there, there's, a, uh, uh, there's another, uh, uh, we so-call is a, a so, so called as uh, double eleven. So in double eleven, every all the traffic, the commercial traffic, be, we can be uh, like twenty times per day than the euro. So they, there's a uh, fast reaction and a large volume in per day, one day. So all the uh, IT business, all the digitalization uh, platform, you need to bear this, uh, you know huge volume in a very short time. And the third, third is, uh, you know, uh, in China, so now the problem is, is not we can't get the information or content. Now the problem is uh, we are surrounded with too many information and content. So how to sort off the, the, the suitable and interesting, interesting uh, information is uh, one of the uh, challenges we are facing. For the for the in China, uh. so we come to the conclusion. 
So now we observe that three key value of digitalization in China. The first is the customer experience. So for example, for, for, for uh, next generation car, so we get to know all the driver or passenger uh, for the customer experience, maybe 30% rely on the experience of a driving car, and 70% rely on the lifestyle in the car. So this is the difference uh, we observe. And the second is the operation uh, efficiency. Like, like a, a, a giant company that come to China, really need to think about the efficiency. For example, if you build up a very, very, very huge IT system to uh, manage the traffic for the peak time, you will waste a lot. But if you, if you don't build up, you will, your system cannot bear this traffic uh, in the, the peak time. So how to manage, how to balance this operation efficiency, this uh, challenge. And the last, a business resilience. Uh, so there's a, you know, in China, uh, also have some uh, new regulation like GDPR. Uh, so how to maintain the, this business, uh, be resilient. This is a, another challenge and a topic. Uh, we need to think about that. Mm. So uh, we are going to the second part. So we observe that there are uh, seven new trends, uh, new trends uh, in, uh, in the uh, digitalization. Uh, the first is, uh, you know, from product centralized, centralized service, centric service to user centric service. This is an example for uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, electric car company, new. Uh, actually, their uh, new win, uh, almost the, the, the biggest of the uh, 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 market share in China. And the big, the strong, strongest point is a new build up this community. They differentiate the buyer of new as a is a, a, a different with other other uh, consumers. They can provide a lot of you know customized service and build a build up a strong community. Let's say they provide a launch, a VIP launch. Uh, they build up the, the community and communication activity for all the car users. So, so this is one of the uh, strong points, why they attract their uh, customers. The second uh, is from fixed offering at delivery to continuous update and uh, uh, personalization. So, you know, when we uh, uh, buy, buy a car, so all the applications in the panels, uh, previously there's no, no change, right? But in China now, so they will continue update. Uh, they will pop up new applications, and also they can customize to recommend to you. Uh, so this is a total difference. Hmm. And third is uh, you know, uh, from physical and fixed identification to digital and uh, uh, flex flexible ident identification. So this means you know all the uh, the cars, supercars, got the uh, the like a the so virtual key, use, utilize uh, WeChat ID. So you can use this uh, WeChat ID to control your car. So, and also can, you, can, you can see all the uh, factors uh, and also can uh, to manage, uh, let's say to open the engine before you, uh, you open the car and also, also can share your, your key to your friends. And I think this is a, a key, character, uh, key functions for the car sharing uh, companies' services. Mm. And the fourth is, uh, you know, this uh, uh, broaden uh, open marketing to, uh, to target and close the loop of the marketing. So, which means previously in China, so, you know, for example, for, for German car, in, chi in China, be considered as a, like a luxury and a premium car positioned in China consumers. So how to position, how to uh, deliver this, uh, this information and uh, also convert this information to the sales lead. So this is one of the uh, uh, tools we can provide and also we can, we, we've already seen. Because as I mentioned, you know, for Tencent, you know, can connect to around uh, more than one billion end users. This is our strength. Uh, we can help our uh, customers 
true delivery, their uh, information, advertisement, everything to their, your target position, the customer. And then uh, we also can connect to, to B business, CRM. Once they receive the information and uh, click some, some button, that then automatically can come to the CRM. Mm. So in, uh, later on, I can show uh, our total solutions. Mm. And another trend is, uh, you know, uh, from uh, this uh, platform-based approach. Uh, so as, uh, as, 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 as I mentioned, you know, uh, for traditional car, so all the applications is fixed. We, we can't add, we, we can't get a new applications. But rely on this uh, platform, uh, like Tencent, we can provide this kind of platform. So all the ob applications uh, uh, always can down be downloaded and also uh, can be customized. Very, this uh, can shorten your development time. Hmm. And also, so from you know this, uh, we can provide this uh, 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 like this uh, uh, platform, platform applications. For example, this is the AI, AI uh, uh, centralized uh, platform. So we are trained for the all the scenarios. So for you know our customers. You, you don't no need to train it by yourself. You can directly connect to our platform to utilize that. Yeah. So this is a platform, platform uh, uh, functions. Mm. I think just now I talk about the resilience. Uh, and also uh, during this, uh, this uh, today, we, we have uh, a couple of communication with our, uh, our, our friends in today. So we are uh, noticed some of our uh, potential customer partners do want to go to China market. They really want to find, uh, find out uh, some suitable partners really can comply with China regulation. Uh, so uh, as, a China, as a China supplier, cloud supplier, we are fully compliant with the regulation. Uh, OK, so this is uh, seven trends we uh, observed. So we come to the you know to 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 uh to uh, solve the the challenge and also to aiming the uh, the new trends. So how we can uh, provide the best solutions, total solution for partners, customers. I think the solution is uh, cloud, cloud uh, cloud. We can see is a new driving force in China in the automotive market. So yeah, uh, let me. Uh, Give me one, one minute advertisement time. <laughs> so this is a Tyson Cloud. We have we already built up uh, uh, infrastructure globally. So we are the, the number five uh, in in, uh, in, uh, in the world. So we have uh, this, this, we have uh, you know twenty six regions, seventy availability zones, covered uh, China, uh, Europe, America, uh, even South America. Uh, and also to aiming to serve the you know the three topic uh, uh, we so call the uh, no pinpoint uh, so customer experience, operation efficiency, and uh, uh, business resilience. So our our uh, solutions we pro we can provide you know uh, the comprehensive cloud uh, services. Then uh, definitely uh, so we are we are very strong in China. But if we talk about the European uh, business. We also have this capability to provide the business in Europe market. Uh, we can provide the connect, secure, and also can accelerate uh, all your business, no matter from R and D. Uh, we so call it a made, made, made car better, sell car better, use car better, uh, total solutions accelerate your business. Hmm. So this is a total solution as I mentioned. So what what we can offer. As you, uh, as as I, I mentioned, Tencent coming from you know social ne uh, network, uh, social network, uh, and now we are also can provide to B business. So how could we can provide to B business? Because uh, from the fundamental, you can see infra infrastructure layer. We can provide uh, ABC plus M. ABC is uh, AI, big data, cloud, and map. This is our infrastructure layer. The second is the ecosystem. So we have a content system, service uh, ecosystem, and a social eco ecosystem. So, yeah, Tencent already invites uh, invites the more than 1,000 companies globally. 
so we can uh, build up the uh, most uh, comprehensive ecosystem uh, to be honestly compare we can compare for any uh, gen, uh, internet company we are very strong in this uh, ecosystem mm. and the player uh, platform form we can provide security platform LBS platform and about that is super ID super ID is uh, uh, WeChat ID so uh, in in China so everybody got WeChat ID so if uh, if you live in China, if you don't have WeChat, it's a, uh, it's a very, very not convenient. Uh, so also, use the WeChat ID can be considered as a you know, super ID, like uh, you, the, your car ID. Uh, you need a car ID uh, also. And, uh, and above that, we can provide the end-to-end -end, end -end solutions uh, for the automotive industry, from make a car better, to sell car better, use car better, and also manage better. Uh, in terms of the uh, make a car better, so we can provide the car cloud digital solutions, uh, food chain solutions covering R and D, covering uh, production, logistic, and sales marketing. Uh, and also we can uh, provide the simulation cloud, uh, autonomous driving. So uh, this full uh, make a car better, sell car better. Uh, this is also our strength. Uh, we can provide digital marketing and sales. Use car better, intelligent cockpit, and a mobility service. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, I uh, so this is a uh, uh, very uh, how to say it's quite uh, quite big uh, services we can provide. Uh, if you have any questions, we can discuss them off the line. Uh, so uh, also we are willing to have a deep dive workshop with a uh, uh, customer partner with you guys. Uh, and uh, Okay, uh, we come to the conclusion part. Uh, so that's an integration we can see from the uh, China market. The first integration is a uh, car and the cloud integration. Uh, so the cloud, with cloud, uh, we also uh, we we also can uh, uh, find out there's three parts of cloud. The first is uh, autonomous driving cloud. Second is uh, vehicle map cloud, and also intelligence uh, cockpit cloud. So. Uh, uh, from uh, from Tencent, we can pro provide all these uh, cloud business services. Uh, and this uh, this part is very very interesting because uh, Tencent is uh, number one gaming company. So you, we utilize you know virtualization and also uh, gaming uh, capability. So we are uh, quite strong. We have a comprehensive total solution for Web three. Uh, so, for example, for NFT solution, if you buy a, a, a fancy car or a super car, you also can get a, like a, 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 a car NFT. You can use it, you can drive it in your like a PUBG gaming. So this is your unique character. Uh, and also digital human, because you know, uh, if you buy a, a car, an electric car in China, normally there's a virtual human always can connect with you. Uh, you can talk with the, uh, you talk with him or her, and uh, you know, uh, let he or her to help you to manage everything. Uh, and also, intelligent building and park uh, to find so this uh, combined digital twins. Uh, actually, we uh, also uh, combine with the uh, smart city. Uh, we we have built up this uh, uh, like uh, uh, for the main uh, main cities. We built up this. Uh, smart city already, and also parking system. It's easy to find the parking slot, manage your, also, you know, uh, the charging, everything. Uh, the last is an uh, intelligent driving map. So we combine, you know, uh, when, when, uh, when you drive a car, uh, you can uh, simulate all the surrounding cars, even the passengers around here. Uh, so this uh, 360 degree can be really virtualized from the screen, you, you, there's a, you can see everything. Uh, so this, uh, this uh, integration of a real and a digital world. Uh, and the last page. So we can see, you know, uh, in this uh, uh, in China market, so the business border is uh, very blurred. So we, we also can see, you know, for the supplier, tech companies, are uh, all, all in this, uh, this uh, battle films. There's uh, no clear boundary. Uh, and uh, uh, so um, because, as I mentioned, Tencent uh, or, or China uh, high-tech company come to this, uh, this automotive industry, 
uh, we are from IT or high tech or digitalization di direction to car. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, for the uh, German, uh, German giant company, uh, you're from traditional car to, to next generation car. So we eventually we can meet together. And uh, we are really want to do the like a win-win collaboration. Uh, because I think uh, uh, for, for China, uh, even the IT or, or, or internet company, we are not good at to build the, the best car because it's, uh, you need to accumulate you know, many, many years uh, experience. So uh, from our perspective, from Tencent perspective, we are re really willing to uh, uh, collaborate with, uh, with the German, with the European companies to, to manufacture the best car, best and necessary car. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Leo Lee from Tencent.